right let's talk about the last part of this youtube playlist series where we are trying to build a llm app using rag and with the help of fast api and gradio uh, so what we are at currently is like we already discussed all the components of uh, this app and the last part that is being left is the inference part how we are doing the inference and how we are uh, creating the uh, the starting point of this app right so we will discuss two of the files and that is like inference.py and a main.py and for your info that now i have uh, started publishing the github url so you can see like this is the github url which we have and there all the codes are present here so i have exposed uh, everything like uh, the folder structure and the code and the notebooks like the helper notebooks where i have done the experimentation all those that i have uh, included in this github url right now let's talk about what this inference.py is right so if you if you remember in the last uh, video we talked about in the gradio needs a function so that function will accept the user input and it will also like produce an output by calling the LM and that output will get displayed in the Gradio app, right? And I have also mentioned if you are using the uh, chat interface, so generally that function, the function which we are using, that should have uh, two arguments. One is like the prompt or the question and also the history. So as we are not integrating the history here, so I am by default making it as none, but you have to... Uh, like write this argument in this function otherwise your chat interface will not work so once that is defined i am also giving the type hints and the return types so these are very important if you are uh, trying to build a uh, app so that uh, input and output type hints are all should always should be there right then i am uh, initiating the llm uh, then i am retrieving the uh, vector database as retriever so just calling this uh, get retriever from the build rag and then we are creating a prompt template so the template is answer the question based on the following context then the context is given and also the question is given after that what we are doing is we are like formatting the uh, prompt uh, using this template and we are getting the prompt right so then uh, i'm using this uh, the new concept which came up with langchain the langchain expression language uh, so that uh, has a different architecture or the different uh, style of writing the code so in case you want i can like create a new video on this uh, langchain expression language and how that works but here what we are doing is we are using like the context we are mentioning that the context will come from retriever then the question we are using a runnable pass through right so this runnable pass through is a new concept which let's discuss about this what this is Right. So it's runnable pass through kind of allows to pass the input unchanged or with additional extra keys. Right. So here, in our case, the keys are like context and question. Right. So it will allow the runnable pass through here allow the question to pass through the prompt uh, and the retriever and the model. Right. So that it will like allow it to pass through from one stage to another stage right so here is one example is given so there they are using like runnable parallel along with runnable pass through right so in the end we have a, a lambda function but in between we have certain pass through which will be like uh, just take the input and pass it as it is or add few extra steps right so you can see like first the number is getting printed as one then there is this extra step right where we are multiplying the number uh, with three and uh, we have another variable which is mult right so the, the, those outputs are getting shown here and in the end we have the modified where we get the final output right so you can see the input is getting passed through multiple steps in this whole process so that is actually the use of uh, the runnable pass through it allows the input to pass through different uh, sequence in the code right so here uh, in the retrieval example also you can see the input to the prompt is extracted uh, and the keys are like context and question the user input is just the question right mm -hmm. and then uh, what we need to do is we need to get the context using the retriever then pass it through uh, the input under the question key right 
So the question, the user, uh, the prompt will be passed through as a question. And uh, in this case, the runnable pass through allows us to pass the user question to the prompt and the model, right? So this is very important. Like uh, if you see this part, the runnable pass through allows us to pass the user question to the prompt and model, right? So this question will be passed to the, uh, the prompt and to the model. And in the end, we will have the output which will go, go through a standard output parser and we will get the output, right? And also in this new version of Langchain, we generally uh, call it dot invoke instead of like uh, dot run, we call it as dot invoke. If you want to run it synchronizingly and if you want to uh, run this function asynchronously, we need to use like a invoke. Right. So once that is done, we will get the output from this uh, predict track function. And now let's talk about what this main function is. Right. So in the main function, we are like at first creating the app using fast API, which we already discussed. Then we have certain validations, which uh, we are doing using PyDentic. From the PyDentic, we are importing the base model and we are mentioning that the type of prompt is string and the type of response is also string, right? Then we have this post method where uh, we are creating a, a endpoint, which is like a slash endpoint. And there we are mentioning the response model is response. This is also again for the validation of the output. Then we are passing the prompt to this function and uh, and then we are calling this predict rag which we uh, discussed in the inference.py uh, file, right? So that we will import and that we, we are passing the prompt here and we are getting the response, right? So after that we are creating using the Gradio, we are creating the demo app and, and all these things we have discussed previously. Uh, and after that, what we are doing is we are uh, just mounting the Gradio app using the app and the demo, right? And we are mentioning the path as dot slash, right? And then using the ubicon, uh, we are running this code like we are mentioning that the main is the file name and the app is uh, the name of the fast API app that we created here. And then we are creating the uh, ubicon host and the port from the .env file. And then we are just uh, running this using the ubicon, right? Now let's see how this uh, works if we try to run it. So at first we will activate the environment. Then what we will do is we will run the python3 main.py. So once that is run, we can now go ahead and paste the URL and see how this works. So let me ask a question on how Llama 2 is different from Llama. So this is like the first time it takes a bit longer because first time it will initialize the model and also initialize the vector retriever all those initialization it happens for the first time and once we get the fast uh, the the first response after kicking off this application then the response would be much more faster right so this is how the output is looks like then let's ask a question on uh, what is sliding window in llama 2 sliding window attention right So yeah, now we have the answer. So, the, so I hope you uh, got a good understanding of how this whole app is working. So this is may not be the optimized way to create the app, but I just wanted to give you like a heads up and the whole overview of the process, how you can build uh, a fully functional LLM app with front end and with different endpoints, right? So uh, with this, uh, I will end this video and I will see like what extra we can do in this app and maybe in future videos we will talk about it. So do let me know how you like this series in the comments and how this series has been so far and what is your uh, take on this, which will uh, help me to improve this uh, video series in the future. Thank you. See you in the next video.